concerned that it looks like your party is blowing it and that Democrats can't govern? And you know that has huge ramifications. It has a ripple effect. And look at what's happening in Virginia and other places where the elections are coming up. I'm going to be sitting here covering elections next week and then for 2022 and then for 2024. If you guys can't come to an agreement on this. CNN host Don Lemon asking Democratic Congressman Jamal Bowman if his party is blowing it. Wow, yeah, he's warning infighting will hurt their party in future elections. Joe Concha, Fox News contributor, joins us live. How much, how many volumes does that speak to hear something like that from Don Lemon on CNN? Oh, can the volume go up to about 30 at this mm -hmm. point? Because, yeah, the, the panic is very real. And, and Don Lemon is right about the party he serves at the pleasure uh, as a CNN anchor of. His concern is justified. Democrats are blowing it in Virginia. They are blowing it when it comes to this new spending package that, even though they control the House, the Senate, the Oval Office, they can't come to an agreement on. Uh, and, and much of the crises in the Biden administration are implosions of their own doing, just like Terry McAuliffe. It's a, it's his own doing in Virginia as far as that implosion there. And things are getting desperate for Democrats uh, in the Commonwealth. You know, as you talked about in the last segment, Glenn Youngkin uh, was nearly down 10 points just a few weeks ago. He's now up eight in a new Fox News poll. And another poll released yesterday has him up four. So all the momentum behind the Republican right now. But almost all we're hearing about out of the Democratic Party and, and, and many in the media is Donald Trump. And, and President Biden said Trump's name 24 times in a relatively short speech there on Tuesday night. No surprise there, guys, because the party certainly has nothing positive to run on. Inflation? No. Worker shortage? No. Supply chain crisis? No. Rising crime? No. Border security? Don't make me laugh. Afghanistan? Hey, where's that? But siding with teachers unions over parents? Democrats own that. And I think the main question in Virginia right now is, has Joe Biden made life better for those living in the Commonwealth in his first 10 months in office? And the answer is no, of course. Anybody who goes to a gas station, goes to buy food, knows that because of inflation and the rising gas prices that we're seeing. And USA Today now has the president at 41 percent approval right. in Virginia. That's a state he won by 10 points. And McAuliffe can still win, Todd, but, but he's on defense. And it's hard to come back from behind when constantly defending yourself on education and the economy. Jillian, he's being defined right now. Mm -hmm. But the Democratic media machine not taking it all off, not taking every play off. They are uh, pretty much complaining about the Republicans attacking Attorney General Merrick Garland after that Capitol Hill hearing. Here's one example. Rolling Stone Republicans are losing their minds because the DOJ wants to help protect threatened school officials. Quote, he ran into a buzzsaw of outraged Republican senators who took the attorney general to task for allowing federal law enforcement to consult with local law enforcement about how to handle a rash of violent threats against school board officials. That last line really taking this entire situation out of context. But Joe, where was there hmm. similar outrage when Bill Barr, Brett Kavanaugh, Amy Coney Barrett, to name a few, were also subjected to <laughs> very harsh questioning? Yeah, I'm surprised Rolling Stone didn't go with the customary Republican C's, right, on Merrick Garland XYZ. Look, look, Merrick Garland deserved the buzzsaw that he walked into. He based his whole investigation, his whole decree to start to label parents as domestic terrorists if uh, at school board meetings, all right? And it was based on a letter uh, by, uh, you know, a major school national board that rescinded the letter and right. said, no, maybe this was, was a mistake. So, yeah, he, he deserved everything that he got. And look, anybody, Democrat, Republican, you look at Merrick Garland's performance a couple of days ago, and no one can say that, boy, he really nailed it. You know, he really seemed to be in control of the facts and, and what he's doing. Of course not. He didn't. He deserved what he got. Anyway, guys, I got some uh, stats to share, by the way, based on Carly's quickly. report from Atlanta earlier. Okay, quickly indeed. All right. If you want to go to Eagles Jets in East Rutherford, New Jersey, it costs $30, right, to get a ticket. I'm sorry, not even a ticket to get the uh, $30 for the ticket. Okay. But a parking pass for World Series game three in Atlanta, that is currently going for three times as much, wow. $100 mm. just for the parking pass, $1,000 for the okay. ticket. So if we want to go to Eagles Jets, Jillian, nope. I can get some tickets. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> I might take you up on that, Joe. Thank you. Good to see you. All right. Done, done. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. You too.